picked up my rental. Uh, I got to do a college tomorrow. It's my first college of the year. I tend to not do too many colleges anymore. Um, just because I like myself. I think I did 50 colleges my first year. I did 36 in the span of one month. By the end of that month, I almost quit comedy completely. And I'm not saying all colleges do it poorly, but I am saying that most colleges do it poorly. Out of the 50 colleges, I would say seven of them, I walked away with an equal amount of self-esteem. And the other 43, you leave asking people questions like, um, is there is there a bridge near here? Preferably one with no guardrail. I've gotten booed off stage and felt like I had a better set. It's the lunchtime shows that are the worst. They call them nooners. And many a comedian has talked about them because they're horrible for everybody. It doesn't matter how good of a comic you are or how big of a comic you are. The lunchtime shows are soul-sucking events. I'm gonna tell you about the worst college gig I ever had. It might land top three worst gigs of all time on my list. It was a Louisiana State University, like a, like a satellite in a small town. I walk in the place, I see the lady, I recognize her from the conference. So she brings me into this little classroom and she's like, you can wait here and um, let me tell you the rules of the college, of the show. And she just starts rifling off a list of things I'm not allowed to say and not allowed to talk about. You can't say this word. You can't say this. You can't talk about this school. You can't talk about these people. And I'm like, well, wouldn't the list be shorter if you could just tell me what I can talk about? She's just killing off my material. One joke at a time. I go, and how long of a show are you asking me to do? But she goes 60 minutes, but at the 50 minute mark, you will notice that people are getting up and leaving the cafeteria. You will hear the chairs rustling, you will hear them squeaking across the ground, and you will watch them exit the building. Just keep going for another 10 minutes. I was like, wouldn't it just be better to finish the show, to end the show at 50 minutes instead of an hour? And she's like, no, no, I paid for 60 minutes. I'm gonna get my 60 minutes worth. 